everybody. Happy Thursday. My name is Lauren and I'm one of the hosts today for Life Lessons Wellness Program. I'm Hi. also here with Carly and Stevie. Hi, Morning. Carly. Hi, Stevie. Morning. Hi, how are you? How are you both doing today? Good. Good. Awesome. And we also have a very special guest, Nathan Walker. Nathan, if you want to wave at the camera. He will also be chatting with us today during mindfulness. We have lots of new friends, lots of new faces today. So I'm very excited to get started. It's also a very special day because today specifically, we will be recognizing and celebrating Black History Month. We're going to be making some plantain, some dumpling, and we're also going to be having some conversations during mindfulness. So stay tuned for that. Now let's get started. Just a little reminder that if you're by yourself, feel free to turn on your camera. We would love to see your beautiful faces. And if you're in a classroom, then we would love to hear all your thoughts through the chat function. If you hover over the top three dots at the corner of your screen, then you can also change your name. So please do that and then we'll know how to address you. Now, like I mentioned, we are going to be making two dishes today. So let's hope we have enough time to get through this all, but it'll be very exciting and very delicious. So does anybody know what this is? Banana. Any other thoughts? Banana. Isaac, do you know what this is? And I hear yes. you too. That is, 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 is a button. <laughs> yes. A button. Exactly. Some people say plantain, some people say plantain but you got the right idea. And Carly, you're right, this does look a lot like a banana. I believe it comes from the banana family, but it is a little bit different. It may taste a little um, less sweet at this point of its life, but once it gets more ripe, then it will be a lot sweeter. You guys know how we can tell when a banana or a plantain is ripe? What do you think? Do you think that the um, plantain will turn orange or will it turn brown? I think it'll turn orange. Brown. Orange, brown. Yeah, both clothes, but it will turn brown. It'll get a darker color. And that's the darker it is, the sweeter it will be. So today it's more yellowy and we're going to learn how to fry it. So this one I already started slicing up and you can make it into little kind of chip sizes like this. And then it's easier to peel out. If you try to peel it like a normal banana, it can be a little bit tricky because it's so thick. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. So Stevie, you knew what this was. Have you had plantain before? Yeah. How do you usually eat it? With my mouth. Yes. That is a great way to eat it. Do you like the taste of it? Yep. Yeah, do you have it for breakfast or for dinner? For dinner. Dinner. And Carly, have you had a chance to try plantain before? No, just banana. Yeah, so this would be very exciting if you ever wanted to try it because it has a similar taste, but uh, kind of. So if you like banana, then you may like plantain as well. And it's fun because we are going to fry plantain today, but you can also make it by boiling as well. So people make it differently depending on what they're going to eat it in. So it looks like I have all my plantain all nice and peeled up, which is exciting. And now we're going to get on to our dumpling. So has anybody had dumplings before? No. <laughs> no. What about, no? Anybody in our chat, you can say a thumbs up or maybe just a smile. It's actually one of my favorite foods. I see Isaac and Kayla with their thumbs up. Isaac, when have you had dumpling before? Do you have it during the morning or lunchtime, dinner? It is both of them. It's both of them. Yeah, you can have it at all times of the day. What about you, Kayla? Do you enjoy having dumpling at different times of the day too? Yes. Yeah, it's dinner delicious. Time. So we are going to try to make it from scratch today. You can also buy the packages and it tastes just as delicious. So right now in here, I have two cups of flour that I already measured out. Um, in this little bowl, 
I have one teaspoon of baking powder. So I'll throw that in. Does anybody know what baking powder does when you use it in doughs? Use it for baking. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Carly. What else have you used baking powder in? For cookies. Yeah, cookies. So you use baking powder for a lot of baking, like cookies, and it helps it rise. So you get more of that fluffy texture. So hopefully these dumplings will be nice and fluffy. Ideally, they're gonna come out and look like little donuts. So now I'm going to mix, I just put a little bit of salt in. Next, I'm gonna put a quarter cup of water. Actually, first I'm gonna do my butter, I believe. So I'm gonna do a quarter cup of butter. And then we're gonna continuously add in some water. Okay, until it gets into a nice dough consistency. You can see here that I cut the butter into little chunks. So this will help. Um, you also do this for some biscuits. So this will help get that nice doughy consistency that we want. You may see beside me, I have some oil. Oh. Yeah. Have you guys used oil before in your cooking as well? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't even forget my mom cooks to use oil. Yeah. yeah so Different oils and butter is another ingredient yeah. that has oil in it too. So a lot of oils are very tasty, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're so good, but a lot of oils also have fat in it. So there's different kinds of fat that we've talked about before, right? Do you guys remember the names? They were really long words, so we're going to talk <laughs> about them a bit more. Uh, oh. it took um. Okay, I'll give you a hint. There were two types that we've talked about. There was saturated and unsaturated. Uh, Maybe saturated. everyone can copy of, or after me. So can everyone say saturated? Saturated. Saturated. Perfect. And then let's say unsaturated. 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 Awesome. So those are two types of fats that you've probably heard of before. Maybe you haven't heard of them but we wanna make sure that we're having fats in moderation and especially saturated fats and another fat called trans fat are the ones we don't wanna to have too much of it all the time. But then unsaturated fats, then we can have a little bit more of it and it's okay for us. So it's interesting because butter may have a lot of that saturated fat in it, but then this oil, canola oil, has a little bit less. So it's good to mix up your oils and get different nutrients, but also just try to not have too much and have it in moderation. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so sometimes doughs take a little bit long to make. So I'm just gonna keep mixing this up till we get a doughy consistency. And then I'll just add in more water until it actually comes together. You can see right now, it's a little crumbly, right? Yeah. Right. Carly, do you think I should add more water? To um, make it less crumbly? Like a little bit of water to make it like dull. Yeah, that's a great idea. What if it was like super watery? Yeah. Should we add more water or should we add more flour? Maybe more flour to make it like a dull. Yeah. That is a great idea. So Nathan, have you had a dumpling or a plantain before? And I see Haley saying warm water. Yeah, warm water's a great idea. To answer That's your question, yes, Lauren. I, I've had dumpling a lot of times. My grandma makes it really, really well. Wow, and when do you usually have dumpling? What do you eat it with? I usually have it in the morning with ackee and saltfish, or I have it, it at night, sometimes they could even put it in soups. That sounds delicious. Have you ever made it before? I've made it once. Wasn't the best, but I should <laughs> keep trying to get it better. How are we doing today? Doing great. Thanks, Nathan. <laughs> so we actually went to high school together and oh, it's wow. very exciting. Yeah, that Nathan's gonna be joining us today. He's also a football player, so he really likes a lot of exercise as well. 
Nathan, when you exercise a lot, do you think it's important to eat too? Absolutely. I think eating and exercise are two things that are really important to live a healthy, balanced lifestyle. I'm sorry. I like eating and exercising too. Okay. <laughs> So it looks like we're getting our dough nice and together right now. Perfect. So do you think it's time for us to start frying once we get our dough better? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So what shape do we think we should roll our dumplings into? Should we do circles or should we do little cylinders? Ah, uh, cylinders. <laughs> cylinders that's a good idea i believe when you make it into cylinders then some people call them spinners and then if we put them into circles i'm not sure what those ones are called <laughs> but i believe you can do it both ways if we do it in the cylinder version then we'll roll it like a little snake and then if we do the ball version then we're gonna flatten it so kind of like a flat donut Carly, have you made bread before? Um, I made yes. I made um. I'm not. I buy. I buy bread from the store. You buy bread. Oh yeah, you get fresh bread in the mornings, right? Fresh bread and regular bread. That sounds so good. I can't believe that they need the dough like this every single morning. They must be so strong. Okay, looks like this is all coming together wonderfully. So something you can do with dough to make it nice and airy and delicious is you can cover it for a little bit and then come back to it and roll it out later. So I think that is what we are going to try to do while I make the plantain. So here we go. I think this looks okay. If you have more time on your hands, you can also continue to knead it until it comes together a little nicer. But I think that this is good for now. And look, we have a nice ball of dough. Delicious. Okay, it's, it's a time to start frying. Yeah. Perfect. It could be, or you know what? My hands are a little messy right now, but I'm going to make sure that the oil is heated. Mm. So right now it was on minimum, like the lowest heat, but we're gonna try to put it at medium low to get the oil a little bit up to temperature. When you're testing oil and working with oil, what's a really important safety tip to use? Wash your hands. Wash your hands, yeah, that's a great idea because if my hands are dirty, then I could get hurt if something gets Pot in the oil. Um, any other ideas with working with oil? Maybe I could work with somebody else. I could have a family member help me. Yeah, has anybody ever fried something before and had a family member work with them? Yeah. Yeah? How about you, Stevie? When you work with a hot stove, what do you do? Do you do it by yourself? No, with someone. With someone. Yeah. Who do you usually like to cook with? Mom and dad. Me too. It's a lot of fun to cook together in the kitchen. So just to test out the oil, I'm going to just put one little piece of plantain in. I'll just pop one off. I'm not sure. I guess you guys can kind of see the stove over here. I'm just going to dump it in. And ideally, it should start bubbling. It's bubbling a little bit right now. Perfect. Okay. So Stevie, you, your family's from Ethiopia, right? Right. Do you have any Ethiopian foods that you like to eat? Injera. Oh, what's that? I've never heard of that before. It's Ethiopian food. That sounds delicious. Is it, um, a rice or a bread or a vegetable, a vegetable. or a meat. Vegetable. Cool. Is that your favorite Ethiopian food to eat? Yeah. Very cool. 
and Charlie. Yes. What is, I believe your cultural background is Indian as well yes. as Kenyan, right? Yes. Do you have any cultural foods that you like to eat? I mean, um, uh, the cultural food with my after school program. Oh, like what? We made, I, get, uh, I think we made something with culture, we made like spaghetti and spaghetti. Cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to try new foods out, huh? Yeah. Some foods have so many spices in it too. So you can like work, like I find a lot of different cultures, they all have some type of bread, but it all tastes so different. Or maybe they all have some type of rice, but they all cook it differently. So it's really fun to try different foods. I'm going to cover this dough. My hands are a little messy, so I'm going to check on the chat in a couple seconds after I rinse my fingers off. <laughs> Washing your hands is a really important part of cooking, right? Yeah. Yeah. Another safety tip with working with hot oil is if you have any long hair or loose clothing is to make sure we tie it up. We don't, it doesn't go in our face. <laughs> yeah, we don't want it to go in our face. We want to see what we're doing. We also don't want it to go inside the fire or the oil. This, um, oh, there's my towel. This um, hot stove over here is cool because there actually isn't fire coming out of it. So that makes it a little bit safer to use right now. I think, this is looking pretty steamy and bubbling up. I will put my safety mitts on just in case too, which is a great idea to help prevent oil from getting on us. Awesome. So I'm going to nail that this side is a little bit cooked. I'm going to add in the other pieces of plantain and hope that they cook as well. Oops. <laughs> Yes, we want to be very careful. And again, it's great to have a trusted adult to help us at home if we do this, okay? okay. So do not try this by yourself. Yeah, right. right now, we are frying it. But Nathan, you also mentioned that sometimes you have it boiled in soup, right? Yeah. Sometimes they do the exact same thing. They'll need the they'll make the dough and then they'll throw it in and let it boil along with the soup and you eat it just like that. That sounds delicious. What is your favorite kind of soup that you like? My favorite kind of soup? Hmm. Probably my grandma's chicken soup. Oh, that sounds delicious. And I guess you'll have boiled dumplings in that one? Yes, yeah, sometimes. That sounds delicious. You'll have to learn how to make it and then come here and show us all. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So it looks like these are bubbling up. I'm just gonna move it around a little bit to make sure it doesn't stick. And then I'm excited to start making our dumpling. Delish. Okay, let's look at our dough. Yum, yum. And it's actually a lot softer. I know that you guys can't feel it right now, but you can take a little look. <laughs> and it looks like dough. It doesn't look as crumbly as before. Wow, I see lots of messages in the chat. Thank you so much, everybody. It is so nice. And Derek, it is made from a grain called Teff, gluten-free. Very cool. It is a sour flatbread used in Ethiopian and Eritrean cuisine that is thicker than a crepe, but thinner than a pancake. And a sour taste, vegetable, lentil, meat dishes are served on top of it. Oh, that sounds so good. Thank you for sharing, Derek, and thank you for sharing Stevie. That sounds so yummy and very healthy too. It's so nice to have a carb and a vegetable and a protein with our meals. We wanna try to all of our food groups in. So now it is time for the fun part. I am going to start making our little dumplings. So, Carly, you mentioned that you wanted to make the skinny ones, right? Yes. So let's try one of those. I am going to try to roll it into a snaky shape. 
Nathan, when you have dumplings and soup, do you usually have the circle versions or the cylinder versions? It depends on who's making it, but most of the time I would say I take the circle kind. Good choice. We can try to make those too. Okay. Now, the thing with dumplings that we want to make sure is that we cook them all the way through. So we don't want to make it too big. So I made a little cylinder. Okay. I flattened it out a little bit. And now we are going to try to fry it. We are going to have such a yummy breakfast after this. <laughs> Does anyone have any tea that they're planning to have during their break or during mindfulness? Oh, uh, just have water. Water is great. Staying hydrated. What about you, Stevie? I'll, I'll have a break. Yeah. Will you have a special drink during yet or just get some water? I'll, I'll have a break. That's good. I heard the bell go off. Okay. It looks like we have one cylinder one, a couple of these little circles, and I'm going to stop putting new things in the pan because it's almost time for our break. And then we're going to move on to, what do we do after we cook? Mindfulness. <laughs> Mindfulness, yeah. I see we have so many new faces and friends today, so it'll be very interesting to talk to everyone. <laughs> Now I need to really focus because I don't want to burn myself. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm going to focus on finishing these up. You can all go take a break and I'll meet you back in a few minutes for mindfulness. Thank you. Okay, we'll see you guys soon. Hi Carly, hi Stevie. Hi. Hello everybody joining us. And hi Nathan. Hi. Thank you again for joining us today and for leading our discussion in mindfulness. No problem. Thank you for having me. So we are very excited to chat with you and hear your thoughts. Like I mentioned earlier, if you are an individual by yourself who's watching, turn on your camera if you feel comfortable. And if you're in a classroom and would like to share your thoughts and feel free to drop it in the chat. Take it away, Nathan. Thanks, Lauren. So hi everyone, my name's Nathan, as was mentioned. Um, and today I'll be here to talk to you guys about Black History Month. Has anybody heard of Black History Month before? Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, something like that. Yeah, Carly, how about you tell us what you know about Black History Month? Um, it's about cultures and... Yeah, no, exactly. Stevie, do you have any thoughts? It's about cultures, people from all over the world. Yeah, definitely. So. Black History Month is a time in February where we look and we reflect on some of the great contributions that people in the Black community have made to our world today. Some of that involving inventions. Has anybody ever been in a car? Yeah. I have. And, and what do you do? What tells you that the car needs to go or stop? A traffic it's light, right? Traffic lights. Exactly. Did you know that the traffic light was invented by a black man? Yeah. Yeah, his I name is Garrett that. Morgan. Yeah. So that's exactly what Black History Month is for, is to for us to recognize the contributions and the great things that we use every day that help us within our daily life. Has anybody has anybody played with water before? Water balloons or super soakers? No. I have. I have. I yeah, the super soaker was also invented by someone within the Black community. Has anybody oh. been to a mailbox before? I have. I <laughs> have. Yeah, and to think, if we couldn't, if we didn't have mailboxes, how would we get our mail? Yeah. Exactly. So that was also invented by someone within the Black community. So again, Black History Month is just a time to reflect and to look back at all the great things that people from different cultures and different ethnic backgrounds have contributed to our society. Are there any other, are there any people that you think of when you hear about Black History Month, Stevie or Carly? I think of, I think of people, cultures. Yeah, exactly. How about you, Stevie? 
I think of people and cultures. Awesome. No, exactly. Are there any important people that you guys that you that that you guys know in your life? Uh, my family. Yeah, and Stevie. My family. Yeah. So the big, we're all one big family, the human race. We all work together. We all help each other, and we all need to show each other love and respect. Thank you so much, Nathan. I totally agree with you, and we are so grateful that you took the time today to share with us about your thoughts and just taking the time to chat with everybody. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure to come out here and talk to you guys. Since you're here, do you mind sharing a little bit about what you do? Yeah. So right now I work for a basketball league um, and I help their social media. So I'm around basketball players 24 <laughs> seven, um, but I love sports. Like Lauren mentioned, I'm very big in to fitness and food and making sure that everyone is living a healthy and balanced lifestyle. Wow, we actually have one of our friends over here who loves basketball as well. Her name is Kayla. Hi, Hi. Kayla. Hi. How are you? Good. That's good. Who's your favorite basketball player? Uh, the Raptors. Ooh, I love the Raptors too. <laughs> I do. I do play basketball too. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And only on Tuesday in the night. Oh, that's awesome. I wish I could play basketball that much. I, I do exercise and eat proper food, too. The, the main basketball and dairy prop. If you don't have dairy, how you run and you need, you need your muscle to shoot a, a basset. Exactly. You need all those things to be such a great and strong basketball player. Next month, I go to the Nacho for basketball soon. Oh, wow. Good luck. Thank you. Very cool, Kayla. Thanks for sharing with us. And you're right. Dairy is so important. We want to get those strong bones if we're exercising all the time. Very nice to know. And it looks like it is about time for meditation. So this is a great time for everybody to sit back, get comfortable. We're gonna come back for a little chat with us after, and we will have some more conversations. But for now, find a comfy spot, take a deep breath in through your nose, close your eyes, fill up your tummy with air, and breathe out through your mouth. Take another deep breath in. and breathe out. Relax your shoulders and your fingertips. Relax all your leg muscles and your toes. Relax your eyelids and your mind. and try to think of really positive thoughts. Awesome. Everyone, you can open your eyes. How are we feeling? Good. Good. I'm feeling good. Awesome. Meditation is a great way to relax, isn't it? Yes. Nathan, are you familiar with meditation in your life? Yeah, yeah, it's a great way to sort of rebalance and to calm. Yeah, exactly. And people do it in so many different ways. So it's very nice that we can all meet together and do it a couple times a week. I see a comment from Isaac. Um, he went to BCSS and he's done school and he prays and also he would like to pray and go to Humber College. Isaac, are you applying to Humber College right now? 
I'm not, 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 not yet. Cross your finger. I want for you to to me. A keep me in in yo 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 for me. I go to Amber College. Wish, 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 wish me luck. Me good luck. Amazing. What's you United? I say as well. I know. You wish, wish me, me good luck. Uh, I be uh, awesome. Be, 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 top of your your class for all to pray 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 for me in your your place and though Nathan I look your your shadow Nathan I say 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 with that in the shadow Nathan yes I am Isaac hi Nathan how are you I remember I remember Miss, mm, I remember Miss, Miss Opie. I know no one, long time, nothing you know. I know no one to, to the beginning, to the end. And I never, I never know no one, long time. Bye. But now, Miss, Miss Opie work at Buckham School. I know her at Watch Tree 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 Club. No one went to Watch Tree Club. Me and my, 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 my dad. Before I know no one at Watch Tree Club. Is there a me, me, sis, 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 I Sometime my, 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 my dad went to four three 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 meeting. I met John. Is 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 Lawrence's dad? Lawrence's mom? Obi? I remember Lawrence long time. I went to three three club. I know, Isaac. We've known each other for so long, and it's so nice that now you're meeting one of my other friends. So we can all get to know each other and I'm sure we will all keep you in our prayers and wish really positive thoughts so that you get into school. Mm -hmm. And once you do, 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 yes, I watch news, my, myself though, Nathan, you know, yes, you heard about Matt, Matt, the, the, the King's Kids Day, Gary, Past couple of weeks ago, I know about black, black, smart, Nathan. I never talk, 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 talk to me though about, about black, black, smart though. Repeat though. You talk to your colleague, uh, see me though. Never, uh, never uh, ask me though. Keep it together though. Yes, I not about black, black, smart, Nathan. Nathan, tell me. What? 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 What people? I know, Nathan, me, I play sports, you know, I love win, 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 no, win, win, to me, uh, camp, captains of that, though, you know, no, Nathan, though, you play football, why, Nathan, play football, Nathan, why, all this, Nathan, Nathan, you, you played football, I like, I like, you, you like, a uh, green, you, heads up, it's sharp. It's good, good, good. Okay. Aww. What did this, this, oh, Nathan? B, 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 B. Careful. You have head injury. Isaac, <laughs> I remember you saying that you play sports too, right? Nathan, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on playing sports? You really liked playing football? Oh, yeah. I, I really enjoyed playing football, but football wasn't the only sport I played. I played a lot of other sports. I played soccer. I played volleyball uh, for fun. I played a lot of other sports. So it, it's good to play as many sports as possible, get out there and continue to be active. Yeah, it seems like you're still pretty active now, huh? <laughs> Always. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for sharing and thank you for sharing your thoughts, Isaac. 
really nice to hear from you. I see we have some other friends with us. I see Haley there. Hello, Haley. Hi, Haley. How are you doing? Are you doing good? Awesome. It is so nice to see you again. Did you enjoy cooking with us today? Perfect. Yeah, we had lots of fun as well. It was also really nice to hear about the different foods everyone else likes. Stevie, I see Sierra's here. You want to see how Sierra's doing? How are you doing, Sierra? I'm good. How do you like today? Yes, I did like today. Any thoughts you want to share with us or questions you have for anyone? Um, the Super Bowl is coming up this weekend. It is. Are you excited to watch it? Yeah. I am very excited too. Hopefully we'll have some yummy snacks while we're watching the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I cannot wait. And then I see Julian's here. Carly, do you want to say hi to Julian? See if he has any thoughts. Questions? Howdy. 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 That's, that's what Steve and Stanley, the twins, say. Oh. Bella. This is so cool. I know. I see you have a nice bright orange shirt on, Julian. It's nice to see you today. <laughs> this picture I made I, that looks like a Chinese lantern. What if I made these three dots red, yellow, and green like the traffic lights? Oh, wow. That is a really great idea. And I learned it seems more like... about Black History Month. That's great. Is there anything you wanted to share with us or say? Yeah, I've seen that from, I, this isn't bad. This is bad. Whipping Toby's back from roots. Oh. That was a show I found. Interesting. Thank you so, for sharing, Julian. Some nice car I saw you saw? Mm-hmm. Was he a Toyota, Honda, Nissan, or Mazda? Is that a multiple choice question? Was he an Audi or Volkswagen or Mercedes Benz? I don't Audi even know Porsche. what half these cars looks like. And that's 40 car companies I like. I alphabetize them all. Wow, that's impressive. Just easily remember them. That makes sense. Oh, many Thanks for sharing, Julian. Many interesting things there are. There are so many interesting things. Thank yeah. you for sharing with us. I met this bodyguard, Tom. Oh, nice man. Where did I meet him? Why did I send him to my house? Oh. I think that was a dream I had. <laughs> yeah, sometimes things are mixed up. It's crazy how real dreams can seem sometimes. That's all right. It's good to yeah. know. Yeah. It was so nice to see you though, Julian. Keep working on your art. And as always, we'd love to see it. So if you ever want to send a picture or just bring it and you can show us during the show, we'd love to see it. So it looks like it is also the end of the show. Carly, Stevie, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, yeah is it time to sign off and we'll see you all back here next week? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and next week we will see you on Tuesday, which is happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Okay. Everyone wear your pink, red, and white or any colors that make you feel happy. And we look forward to seeing you then. Thank you again to Nathan for joining us. It was so nice chatting with you, and we really appreciated having you here. Thank you again Thank for you having nice you. Nice meeting you all. Okay, goodbye everyone. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. 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 Bye.